<laughs> I don't understand my ops. I don't understand them. I don't understand yours either, collector. I don't. The spells are not working. Everything is backfiring. Things are getting worse and worse for them. They are, they're in poverty. They're in poverty. They run out of money. And they're still coming for you, collector. It's crazy. It's so crazy. It really is crazy. I'm, I have this on because, you know, the weather is so cold in Houston. The temperature has dropped from, you know, the normal 109, 105 to 70 degrees. And it's motherfucking cold. Cold. And then the next day it changes to heat. But the AC inside places don't change. It's still motherfucking cold. Oh, it's miserable. Misery. No balance. Just extreme temperatures. So, yeah, these these apps, I don't get them. I don't get them. They know that they lost. They want to block a union from coming forward. You know, they want to fuck with your destiny. Now you all know, I mentioned this before, you no one can fuck with your destiny. And they still try it. These people have made it their lives to stop you and defeat you. They don't understand that you are highly protected by the Creator. And whatever it is that they're trying to do and, and throw at you constantly, especially using the moon phases and quarters, it's not going to work. They're still doing death spells, but the death spells are going to fall on their children, grandchildren, the elderly, people close to them. You know, I am beginning to believe that they don't care. They don't realize that many of you collected, including myself, a master alchemist. Even death spells that you throw at us, it's not going to kill us. It's not going to harm us. We will send it back to you. Not the whole energy, though. We will take some of the energy and we'll do something positive with it and send the rest right back to you. No? So you're spending all this money because you're broke. You need to be taking care of your children instead of trying to take out the collector. You need to be taking care of yourself and take a bath every now and then. Because some of you haven't even taken baths in weeks. You know? You got STDs and STIs. You know? No one wants you because you're so busy hating other people. I think that if you stop for a minute talking to my ops now and just get on your knee and not to say no dick either and men or women and pray to God for deliverance so he can deliver you from these demonic attachments that are forcing you to continue to do what you're doing. I know some of you pledged homage to the devil. And many of you are atheists. And that's quite a bind. But even with all of those odds against you, you can still pray to the Most High for redemption. And He will redeem you, transform you. Try it! Instead of doing this which is not getting you anywhere. If anything, it'll take you to the grave faster and all your descendants. And then have a cursed bloodline. Now ask yourself, over jealousy? Is it worth it?
Is this worth it? I don't think it is. And deep down in my heart, I don't believe you believe this either. You just trapped, stuck, and you think that there's no way out. Yes, there is a way out. Get on your knees and pray to God for redemption. Trust me, there have been people who have done worse things than you. Worse. And God has liberated them, redeemed them. Try it. Try it. Let's read. And stop doing love spells. They're not working. They're not working. If there was desire on the part of the collective or myself towards you, it could work. But there's no desire here. None. So those spells don't work. It's supposed to be a magician. Act like one. Okay, let's see what we got here. Are oh, you see what I'm saying? The angel, temperance. You could be redeemed. You could be redeemed. Yes, it's really right here. It ain't too late to give yourself to the Lord. It ain't too late. And ask for genuine forgiveness. Yes. Yes. Two of Cups. Two of Cups next to the Temperance. This could be a new relationship that you can have with the Creator. Just like I have a relationship with the Creator. That's my part. Well, this is awarded to you. You could still do this. It's still possible. Up. Very nice. Very nice. See? Get on your knees like he's doing. And pray to God for the Most High for redemption. And He can take those demonic attachments from you. Okay? Three of Pentacles. Three of Pentacles is a collaboration. Okay? This can also a financial collaboration in business because it's the three of pentacles okay it's supposed to be a positive collaboration i'm getting that this is for the collective something is coming that is going to bring a lot of money and bring a whole new opportunity and it's based on some kind of partnership or collaboration this is what's really eating you up talking to the ops you don't want the collective to get this because you didn't get it and now you're doing everything within your power to put a stop to it especially because this kind of money and collaboration comes with the two of cups which is a union this person is business but it could turn into something like of a divine uh, counterpart okay and this and for some reason many of you ops don't want to see this happen. Don't feel that the collective deserves love or deserves abundance. Now, who are you to determine that? You need to stop being so self-inflated, self-righteous, self-entitled, you know, um, dogmatic religious figure, thinking that you are so entitled to know the moral fiber of every person, what should be the moral fiber, and, and the trend and what should not be. And then taking it on, upon yourself to punish those that don't follow the set traditional values and laws that you hold dear, right? And nothing is forever. Even those views and those traditions, they're gonna change with a new coming age and they, will, and they will bring their own value system. And yours will be obsolete. So, so stop being so self-righteous in thinking that you are the only one that knows what's best for people to absorb when it comes to religion 
and dogmatic views, and that those who are not doing that deserve to be burned in fire. Don't be so entitled in thinking that you're justifying these injustices to the collectors because they're not following the traditional laws and uh, uh, ecclesiastical establishments of the times like you do. It's about to change. It's, it's changing every day. You can't stop that. And I'm talking to an aunt and a cousin, a mother figure, aunt figure. She does a lot of uh, spells. But yes, yeah, she's a member of the church. And she's held in high regard. But behind closed doors, she's a real evil witch who actually victimizes people that are not doing or following the conventions of religion and spirituality as she sees it should be. And therefore, the spells to um, destroy these people and then go behind the pulpit and justify their iniquities when she's the one behind these people's miseries in order to prove a point. We got your number. We know what you're doing. And you're going to receive the worst karma for that. Nine of Wands. You should be scared. You should be scared. The, the, the three of, of wands, this collaboration is going to happen whether you like it or not. Whether you like it or not, this is going to happen. And deep down, you know it too. You know it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah, this is a uh, this is family. Ten of cups. Family members are doing this. Family members. You know, and it, it, it's really sad, collective, that your own family is the enemy here. It's like your exes are not enough, and your frenemies. But with family too, stealing from you, taking your energy, trying to bind you, and at the current moment, attacking your finances. And then going into the church on a Sunday and preach just how bad these people are. And yes, she's in the background making sure that they are destroyed for reasons that have nothing to do with religion. This is personal. And so, and it's always about money. The chariot. The chariot, which is success. Success is trying. Coming out next to the Ten of Cups, now, this family member has succeeded, and still is, still is, in harvesting money, not just from you, probably can't do it from you anymore. You were probably the biggest fish on the pond. But they've been doing this for many other people, and they're still afloat, while well, they're still doing this, not just to you, collector, but to other people. But God will break the right arm of the wicked sooner or later. Seven of Wands in the reverse. This person, this aunt figure, is not protective. This person is not protective. So I hope they have a good time doing what they're doing because their situation is coming to an end. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick uh, read. Uh, please donate. Please give. 281-690-8825, which is Ellie or Cash at Fernando.
F E R N A number five. And the old, you can also request for a reading, a birth chart uh, consultation. You can buy my videos on Vimeo on compatibility, any compatibility of signs. And join my Patreon page where I will start uploading new material. I have not dealt with Patreon in almost a year because of all the stuff I've been going through. But I have a surprise for my old subscribers that are still paying and still being very faithful. And I welcome the new ones. Okay? Thank you so much, guys. And I hope to help somebody.